Hello. Hi. You look pretty. See? You look handsome. Thanks. Can I, can I show you something? Yeah. Nice. Well, I'm pretty much me. We'll see. Oh, wow. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm hungry, but I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I feel as if I have a very unique position in both of your lives. I am the only person on the face of the earth who knew both of you before either of you knew the other person. Before you found out that Stephen had a deep love of spreadsheets, robotics, crazy socks, and putting things in order, I was experiencing all of those things. Before you found out that Sarah is intensely competitive, loves baking in mass quantities, and is fluent in sarcasm. <laughs> I was deeply experiencing those things. For someone that was calculated in his decision-making as I've known Steven to be with his engineer mind, he miscalculated how quickly he would fall head over heels for Sarah. As we read the scriptures, the constant picture that we see is that of a faithful God who is completely sacrificial and lays no conditions on his love. No matter what you've done in the past, he loves you. No matter how far you went, he loves you. No matter what happens in your future, he loves you. Christ's love will never, ever give up on you. Today is the day that you will say to each other the things that God has always said to you. I, Stephen, take you, Sarah, to be my wife, my constant friend, my faithful spouse, and my love from this day forward. In the presence of God, our friends and family, I offer you myself to be your faithful wife and save this as a cup. Get times I've been bad and enjoy as well as you I promise to love you unconditionally, to support you in your goals, to honor and respect you, to laugh with you and cry with you, and to cherish you as long as you both shall live. And to cherish you as long as we both show. Stephen and Sarah, I mean, I'll seal your marriage with a kiss. You make this feel like home. It is my privilege and honor to introduce you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. And Stephen and Sarah Troutner. The first time I met Sarah, I thought she was reserved and academically driven. She was pretty quiet. As I got to know Sarah more with time, it was obvious that she is a kind, caring extrovert, much the opposite of my first impression. On the other hand, the first time I met Steven, I thought he was a wild card. I was simply sent this picture of Sarah with this long-haired guy with a bow tie that she had met in Florida. And honestly, I had no idea what to think of him. Unlike Sarah, my first impression stands true. Steven is a wild card, but in the best way, of course. Take that as you want. I couldn't imagine a better person to relinquish my best friend title to than Sarah. From her laugh to her love for others, Sarah is the perfect match for Steven, and I wish them the best as they start their new life together. I remember walking through Worthington early on in their relationship and Steven saying, I think we're gonna get married. And here we are. So may God's grace and work be evident in your lives and may God bless you with rich happiness and growth together. Love you guys and congratulations. So what are some keys to a great marriage? You have to build on a strong foundation and that foundation is the Lord Jesus Christ. And two, you don't cut corners. You use the best materials you invest in your marriage. I often told Sarah that she had to practice and work hard at something if she wanted to become the best. I'm so proud of the woman you've become. I'm so happy 
that you found in the love of your life. May God bless your future together as husband and wife, and may you continue to be salt and light to those around you.